damn, it's a rocket. I really love this car. Hello, welcome back to GT Races. Today is a beautiful day and let us unscrew something from my Alpha GT and see how it works. The thing I want to unscrew today is my throttle body. That is not an easy word to say as Swedish. Uh, but I want to take that out. Uh, there is three reasons, I think. The first reason is I have never in my life removed a throttle body from a car. So this will be... I'm a complete virgin with this. Uh, second thing is I want to see the condition inside of it. I want to see how dirty it is because we have problem with the recirculation of the oil vapors, of course, and it comes oil that goes back into the inlet uh, to be burned again. And of course, we have you know carbon deposits spilling up in the in the uh, inlet manifolds. But the first thing I want to do today is take out the throttle body and see the condition how it looks inside. I think that was number two. Yeah, number three is I have a small idea. Maybe. I want to buy a larger throttle body and exchange it. Would you think about that? Because I, I, I read online that a lot of people who have the, the 3.2, the V6, they take out the throttle body and put in like the Ferrari blah 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 throttle body and you know the throttle body is one and of course who controls how much air gets in and if you have a bigger hole it probably should mean that you can get more air in. Am I right? I think. So, I'm thinking about maybe I should put in a bigger throttle body. But before I do that, I need to unscrew this, look inside how it works, and yeah, maybe we do that. There is a, there is a later problem also that I may be going to do later on after I remove the throttle body. And that is maybe I will try to remove the whole inlet manifolds. Uh, because I saw some pictures online that they can be really, <laughs> really dirty inside with all the soot and, and, and carbon buildup. So, so maybe in the future, and I, but I know it's difficult to remove them, but maybe I want to do a video to remove them and see how dirty they are and maybe clean them inside. Yeah. But that's only maybe. So let's today, let's start with removing the throttle body and see how we do it. So we need to take the camera and bzzzt, zoom it in here. And here we have the throttle body. Of course it's connected to the air hose and here you have the inlet manifolds. Uh, and as I understand it should be a fairly simple operation. I mean you have this clamp that holds the plastic hose. You have one electricity cord just need to connect that and then I think we have like four let's see if I can do it like that four screws like those and that should be everything so let's start now by removing the electricity and the clamp but we need to be a little bit careful because you see it's connected to all the recirculation shit everywhere here so maybe I need to loosen this a little bit first like that I should be able, I don't think I need to release this because I think if I just release the clamp I should have enough flexibil flexi flexibility in the hose to just pull it out. Yes. Now remove the clamp and now we can look in and then there we have the, what do you call it, butterfly flap. And you see it's a little bit black in there and it's, I think it's dirty. I see even, look, small pieces of things. I don't know what that is. Probably something from the outside. Uh, yeah, so now let's remove the electricity cord. Let's see the connector here. It, because we have one on each. Let's see, we have a little. Ah, and let's see if I can get them. So I needed two hands to remove this because you have one on each side. And, and I could not remove this before I remove the clamp because, yeah. The underside was, was in the way. Well, this far so good. I think that we only need now to remove the four big torques. Is that torques? I think it's torques. Yeah, let's remove those four and see what happens. 
three bolts removed now and I didn't even have to remove the battery so now it's just the final bolt and uh, then I should be able to pull it out it's very easy and it is out look at that it was easier than I thought but if you look in here now it's dirty here we have the a Bosch of course and look at the inside holy cow very black a lot of soot mm-hmm I need to clean this one and this made me very worried if this is this dirty how bad is it inside here I think we have a job before us to remove the inlet manifolds all the way, the plastic box and the metals and clean them inside and see how it looks. I think we can start to cleaning this one at least with some brake cleaner. We have a, another brake cleaner and let's see if we can get this a little bit cleaner uh, before we put it back because I need the car so I need to prepare a little bit before we take off the whole inlet manifold. I need to have like a whole weekend before me and be prepared because I know it's not that easy. So, but let's start a little bit with this and try to dissolve as much as possible of the It's really dirty. I'm, uh, but of course, uh, I mean, I had some problem with the car, and when the mouth didn't work, I guess the burning was not very good. But maybe it's that not problem. But I heard that I think that all these GTS have a little bit problem with this, and the twin sparks too. I think with the drinking oil and burning oil like that I know that I have to be a little bit careful with the with the butterfly inside and not touch too much I don't know why I read it somewhere but on the other hand you read so much strange things online so for everything that someone says is true, there is three other things that says it's not true. But now it looks much better inside. Yeah, I cannot take off everything. I just want to take off the worst. But really, it feels like I want to remove everything. Well, now it's almost a little bit shiny inside. It's still a little bit, but... I, I leave that for now but I could actually manage to clean this it's very good but of course the inlet that will be next next thing uh, let's screw this back on and uh, stop this video for today and start preparing for the inlet manifolds but this was a very easy job I'm very pleased with this uh, very fast and easy to remove and yeah nothing more to say only that this one I want to put in a bigger one because I think this is a 64 millimeters and I want to change this to a 70 millimeters and then I need a adapter of course uh, but I saw some company online that sells adapters so I can put in a I probably put in a uh, a 3.2 b6 uh, throttle body yeah okay let's screw this back on these very fast jobs are the best kind of jobs i mean it took 25 minutes for me to take out the tools unscrew it take out the throttle body clean it screw it back on and i'm talking with you again so this goes very fast uh, i'm very happy that it's very easy it was very interesting to see a throttle body inside uh, but now i am worried about 
the the how dirty it is inside and uh, yeah we will do a big 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 video where we take off the manifolds because as i look at it it's so much you know hoses and and and, and connections and everything and uh, yeah and i heard about the devil screw underneath and i had to remove the the engine mount and tilt the whole engine forward a couple of centimeters i don't know how long so i can get in and unscrew the last one so i a little bit scary but if i take a whole weekend I, I think we should be able to do a video about removing the whole inlet manifold and clean it well if you like this video uh, please like and subscribe and all those things uh, yeah and go out and have a very good day with your alfa romeos because i have it uh, because i have to say now when I'm driving it again, damn, it's a rocket. I really love this car. It's, it's, it revs up like, I don't know, it's like a motorcycle. Uh, and the handling now is, is wonderful. And I have, they haven't even changed the suspension. So I'm like, the day when I go over to a sports suspension and uh, it'll be lovely. Yeah. Now I'll talk about, I, sh I should stop this video now. So luck. goodbye. Goodbye and have a good day. Bye.